Hey, what is up, dudes? It is me. I'm back again. Um, today we're going to um, modify PlayStation Vita 1000, the fat version. Um, it's running on 3.73 right now. Um, I'm going to be jailbreaking this Vita for a customer. Um, he sent this over to me. Um, it's a different Vita. I've never seen uh, this Vita with uh, the SIM card. So that's kind of cool. It's different. But, yeah, I'm going to install the hack for the 3.73 then I'm going to downgrade it for them so I can be on um, the golden firmware which is 3.60 the links will be in the description below and sit back, enjoy and hopefully you'll learn something alright, right here you're going to need Final H Encore so just download that wait for that to finish up what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder on my desktop called Final HE. If you need an extractor program, download WinRare, WinRare or WinRA. It's free. I'll leave the link down in the description. Just transfer those files over to the desktop. Once that is done, just close it out or just minimize it. Go back to the web page. You can either close this or just leave it open. Um, you're actually going to need this. Um, the QCMA. I tried to connect the Vita without it because it says it's optional, like you just saw, but it would not connect even through the content manager on the Vita. So just download um, the Windows version unless you're running an app or you're on Linux. It doesn't take too long. I've over already downloaded this program, so I'm just gonna I'm just showing you where to get it and whatever. I shouldn't even downloaded it twice. That was my fault, but once that is downloaded, you just want to install it. Um, it's a very fairly small application installer or installer in general. So as you can tell, I downloaded it last month because I have a PlayStation Vita Fat already that I modified. So just give it a few seconds. And there you go. Wait till it reaches 100. And you can begin installing the QC, QCMA application. This is an application. What you could do is you could um, connect your PlayStation Fat to the PC, and then you copy all the content over from within the content manager to the PC for backups. Um, just leave it default, which is Windows, because I'm running on Windows. So once that is complete and all said and done, just hit next. And it's going to give you a green check mark stating that everything's good to go. It's ready to be used. So it wasn't really that hard. So I just like to make a little icon, make things easy for myself. Or I could always just shove that icon down in the taskbar. After that's been installed, let's head over to the Vita. What you want to do is grab the PlayStation Vita. 1000 cord that came with your system you want to stick it into one end of the PlayStation Vita and the other port right into the USB port of the either your desktop or laptop it's fairly straightforward not too hard anybody can do it so once that's complete back to the desktop or the computer you want to open final HE right from here do not check mark off the trim H Encore. That's for 3.68 and lower, so please don't do that. If you did hit the trim, um, it, your PlayStation Vita will not function correctly, so don't do that. We're just waiting for the drive letter to pop up for the PlayStation Vita, and you'll get a confirmation message through the Age Encore. As you can tell, it's been connected. Um, don't worry, the, um, the Windows Network um, pop up box will show. Just click Allow Access, please. And you're good to go from there. All you have to do is just hit the button, let's go. Now this is going to take a little while. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a cold beer or water or whatever your preference of beverage might be. And just wait and hang out. Alright, I was wrong. It didn't take too long, I guess. So as you can tell, I'm allowing the access. It didn't screw anything up, as you can see, as you can tell. But this process goes uh, relatively quick, so don't fret. 
everything's going well so far, which is great. I didn't think uh, this would be that easy, but after some reading and stuff like that, it's not that bad. All right, you're good to go. We're just waiting for the image file to be created. That's all. It's not going to take too much longer. And there you go. Um, once everything's complete, please uh, follow the instructions that are prompted on the uh, text box right in front of you on the screen. Please follow that. So after we're done with that, we're going to go back to the Vita. I'm going to open up Content Manager. And what we want to do here is copy content. Just give it a few seconds to connect. I'm sorry for the angle. So right from here, what you want to do, you want, you want to go over, hit the PC. Hit Applications. Now you want to hit the PS Vita button there. And there you go, there's your H Encore 2. That's what you need, H, H Encore 2. So hit OK. Now this is a 200 and something odd megabyte file. So you're going to have to give it a few minutes. But uh, I'll speed this up for you guys. So once that has finally been copied over, you'll get this screen right there. If you get that, you did everything correctly. So give yourself a round of applause, a pat on the back, whatever, an attaboy, uh, give you, I don't know, smoke a doob. But uh, right from here, what you want to do, you want to hit the bubble, the H Encore. You want to start it. That memo pops up, don't worry about it. Just hit yes. And the screen pops up. This move, move your D-pad down one to install the Hankaku exploit. After that, you want to download the Vita shell. This is your file manager for the system. So install that, give it a couple seconds, give it 20, 30 seconds, and it'll be done. It's very quick, as you can tell. Like I keep stating to you guys, I apologize for the glare and the sh shitty camera work for the GoPro Hero 7. After that's installed, just exit, and boom. You have finally hacked your 3.73 Vita. Congratulations. And there you go. There's Henkaku settings right there for you guys. Next, you want to go down to where it says System. I'm just going to show you that we did the hack correctly. So open up the System, system Information, and there you go. The 3.73 along with the two symbols. You're good to go, guys. Congratulations. See, it wasn't that hard. It's not that bad. Enable... Unsafe homebrew and change the spoof version to the latest 3.73 and you guys are good to go congratulations all right guys take care